Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Salem Cruise Light 263BHXL travel trailer. This is a one slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside, kind of show you what this thing even looks like closed up here. So let's get started on the inside. So stepping up into your new Salem Cruise Light trailer. Again, one slide out and it has the kind of chase lounge setup. So you got that L-shaped setup and in that back right there will actually flip around making the U-shaped dinette if you want to sit there and eat as well. You have storage underneath the sofa area and that sofa will make a bed. And you have storage under the dinette area and that dinette will also make a bed. So let's start back here in the back. We'll kind of work our way forward. So you have two double bunks back here. Little pull across curtain area for privacy. You got a window back there that opens. USB charger ports. And then there's storage underneath and also your electric box with your breakers and fuses and then propane leak detector down there. And it's got a little built-in mini ladder here as well. Digital thermostat over here for your propane furnace and your ducted Coleman AC. Got a little vent fan up here, skylight up above, ABS tub surround, little vinyl curtain deal there. You also have an entry exit door going in and out of the bathroom. So when the kids are running in and out all day to use the restroom, they can come straight in here. Foot flush toilet. They don't have to track through the whole RV and get it all dirty. Little medicine cabinet area there. Some storage under the sink area. But there's definitely plenty of room to get in this bathroom, maneuver around, get undressed, and get in and out of the shower and everything. A decent amount of room to use the old uh, porcelain throne as well. Pretty comfortable bathroom. Now kitchen-wise, you're going to have a little pantry area right here. Pretty good amount of space here. You have the ever popular Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. There's the Furion oven, three burner stove top, and you have the Furion hood range light and fan, Furion microwave. Got the electric fireplace here, which is basically again a fancy electric space heater. There's a Furion sound bar. You got room up here for a large TV. Make you a nice little uh, swing arm bracket to where it'll come out a little bit, making it a little more comfortable to sit here and watch TV. Hopefully you got a nice day and you're out camping and having fun, but on those rainy days or late nights, it's nice to have a nice TV area here. Uh, just underneath of there is a cable outlet, uh, satellite outlet as well. If you do a portable satellite or something, it comes through to here. And then there is prepping for the King Wi-Fi Connect, which is an aftermarket internet service stuff that you can add on to the RV. It's prepped for that. Controls right here for your on-demand water heater. You got an on-off switch for some of your ceiling lights but it is also a dimmer switch as well. Awning and uh, slide control, some lights, monitor panels, water pump. It's got a 200 watt solar panel on it and this is the GoPower 30 amp charge controller that kind of controls some of that stuff. Back here, we're gonna have the master bedroom. And in this bedroom, we have the 66 by 78 Custom King, they call it, on a Versa Tilt bed. So there's a little button here to raise the bed up or down. It's pretty easy to do. Got a light switch here as well. 
There is some little cubbies down here and some storage underneath of there where you could maybe kick your shoes. You got a laundry hamper over here on the right. Big windows in this bedroom area. There is a cable and electric outlet up there, backer in the wall, so you can maybe mount your TV here if you wanted to. USB charger ports on each side of the bed. Got hanging closet on each side of the bed. There's an electric outlet down there as well. Pretty nice little setup here. Nice affordable family camper. Well, let's check out the outside. So right here on your door, they've started adding these little uh, informational things here. Just kind of showing the floor plans and some of the specs of it. And then they also even have some of the construction stuff about the RV as well. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. It is a fiberglass door with a window in it. You have deep tent safety glass windows. So you have fiberglass side, rear, and then you also have an aluminum, smooth aluminum skin front, you'll see as we kind of get around there. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. Um, we're gonna have the more ride entrance step here comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds. You do have the little outside kitchen area right here. This is uh, basically a little griddle, it's a propane griddle. And you have your little mini fridge there as well. There's a gas line hookup down there. Dual axle unit, easy loop hubs, drum brakes. You have your cable and satellite outlets here. There's an electric outlet here, a uh, gravity fill fresh water tank, cold water spray port, furnace exhaust out right there, outdoor speakers, and the stove exhaust up there as well. Again, entry exit door going into that back bathroom, traditional hover style step here, quick drop jacks. It has the hot and cold low point water drains there as well. Traditional flat back fiberglass rear end here. Four inch square tube bumper. Got a nice arch to the roof up there as well. It's prepped in the top center there for the Furion rear observation camera. That is a nice camera system to uh, consider adding. That allows you to basically see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. You have the city water inlet and also black tank flush right here as well to clean out your toilet system. Uh, this was ordered with the optional spare tire mount and cover. Uh, some people do buy these, park them and never move them so they don't want that. Factory leaves it up to you if you want it. Most dealers do stock it with the spare tire because they feel like people should travel with these things. Uh, but again, your choice when ordering the RV. It is prepped on the side right here for the Lippert Portable Stow and Go Ladder. It's a nice telescoping ladder. If you're gonna travel, we might consider getting one of those as well. Uh, you also have the on-demand water heater located back here. You have the detachable 30 amp power cord right there. Your gray galley and black tank dumps all right here. Slide out, 12 volt slide, push a button, it goes in and out. We'll show you that here in a couple minutes. You are prepped for the Sol Air slide toppers. That is a nice thing to consider. It's an awning that rolls in and out with the slide room, basically helping to shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. The other side of your pass-through storage area here. Some very important informational stickers. So right here we got the dry weight sticker telling us this RV was 6,545 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line. Exterior length, 31 feet, nine inches. 
Tire size, ST20575R14 D-range tires with a 65 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Production date sticker tells us this was built 11-7 of 23. Had a gross vehicle weight of 7,690 pounds. You can see you do have a nice slope to the front area right here. Two 20 pound propane tanks, hard bottle cover, power tongue jack with the built in light manual override, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chain, seven way Bargman wire and plug. Make sure you have a breakaway or a brake controller in your tow vehicle as well to operate the uh, brakes on the RV. There's also a battery disconnect down there as well. But overall, a nice clean look to the outside. Now let's step back inside. I just wanna show you real quick what it looks like closed. It's pretty quick and easy to do. As long as you got a good charged up battery. You're gonna come back in to your slide button here. Push the button to bring it in. Pretty much comes straight in and goes straight out. Very, very important to obviously make sure nothing's in the way. So, you know, make sure your floor is clean and make sure there's nothing in the way when you're going out at the campsite so you don't accidentally crash into an electric pole or water pole or something at the campsite. But you could go in the back door to use the bathroom when it's all closed up. If you were stopping at a rest area or something, you could go in the back door to come in and load your fridge at a grocery store or something if you needed to. If you really want to or have to, you could just hit the button, bump it part of the way out, and basically let off the button, walk around the side of the uh, counter here and do what you need to do. Now when it's half in, half out, they don't really want you climbing around on it. So definitely make sure that it's all the way out or all the way in, uh, preferably all the way out uh, when you are uh, setting up camp and everything so that everything is sealed up properly and functioning right. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. And as always, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Thanks again.